14. That was Danny Wright to 30 seconds. But it was the South Melbourne fans who were rocked just three and a half minutes later. In a move started by Phil Stubbins, Heidelberg controlled the ball well in the blustery conditions. Stubbins got the ball back from Stuart Stevenson before tiptoeing his way through the defence to score. The scores look to have been levelled after 16 minutes, but Kimon Taliadoris' diving header was ruled offside. That disappointment proved to be the spur South Melbourne needed, as it proceeded to dominate the rest of the half. But a desperate Heidelberg defence, led by keeper Jeff Olver, held firm. It took a beautiful Steve Blair begun move three minutes after the restart to make the breakthrough. Right passed to Joe Palazzidis, who with strength held off Gary McDowell and found an unmarked Taliadoris on the goal line. An injury plagued home and away season had netted the striker seven goals. The scores stayed level until the 69th minute, when Olber, who'd coped with everything up until that point, failed to handle an Angie Postacoglu drive. Palazzidis said thank you very much. Chances were rare from then on, with play generally pretty scrappy, after 82 minutes, Olva read Paul Trimboli's mind correctly to deprive him. And Gary Bratton found the top of the net right on full time. South Melbourne had made sure of finishing second on the ladder with a 2-1 win over longtime rivals Heidelberg United.